what is it like slipping into a role like this? Uh, it was it was good. It was a good feeling. Like I, I mean, I, I was flattered to even be viewed in, in that regard. I thought that was very. Um, I can't help but take it as a compliment toward, towards maybe the, the, dare I say, even the believability that I maybe brought to a ridiculous situation like murdering bosses and you know hall passes and whatnot. Um, but I, but from the from the inside of me, it felt no different. Like the way I went about you know sort of doing the material, it's all about sort of making the an insane situation feel normal and. and, and the argument that the situation that Larry and through Jesse's uh, gifts, you know, find themselves in is just as crazy of a situation as, as anything I've been asked to be PA for. So it was just about playing those moments and make them as, as honest and real as possible. But it, it felt when I read the script like, oh, I knew who I, I felt a connection to this guy. I knew who this guy was. I'd had mentors like that in my athletic, you know, career at the high school and in college. And I was like, I was like, oh, I think I, I know who this guy is. And it was, and it was very similar to a, guy, a, a coach that I would always, you know, respond to too. Which was, Now, um, it seems like on, on all your shoots, you, do, you 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 create a bond with the other actors. Was that was that the same here as well? Oh, very much. Yeah, yeah. We had a, we had a. Uh, I mean, even though I was, uh, you know, I was the oldest. You know, I mean, but all everybody. <laughs> we were in Montreal. We had we had good times, and then not all of us because you know only a few of us ended up going to Berlin together because you know where we shot the Olympic stuff. So just like the the movie itself, it's like I we had to leave some of the some of the, the squad behind and then and then take over there, but. Yeah, it was very, very communal because uh, we were. It was all a destination situation for us. You know, Stefano's from uh, Toronto, so we were we were shooting in Montreal. And then, you know, we, we used a, you know a crew from up there and a crew from Berlin. So we, you know, we sort of ended up gravitating towards each other. Like, you know, like I don't want to eat dinner alone. Like, you know, hey, let's go out. And then, yeah, it just it comes very, it comes very natural. But yeah, it's 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 one of the my favorite parts of, of you know working with ensemble is starting out starting out like this and then. What do you admire most about uh, Jesse Owens? That he that he was responsible with his gift, like his gift of, uh, uh, that he was um, he he used it with with intention and thoughtfulness. That it, that it wasn't that he, he and that he, despite all the negativity that was you know, and there's certainly plenty of it still surrounding uh, uh, people or minorities now. But he, despite all that energy coming at him, he. he he stayed open. You know, he stayed open to uh, the suggestions, even in his running posture by, you know, uh, you know, white fellow Larry Snyder. You know, he stayed open to the possibilities of, of going or not going. That that he that he he followed his heart and he followed his bliss and he followed his gifts and, and it, you know, lo and behold, started uh, to change the world. It's very remarkable. You know, there's a scene uh, towards the end of the movie where uh, where the where the restaurant scene where they want to let him in to the interview. Oh, yeah, the water resort, that yeah. is really uh, frightening yep. stuff. I mean, can you can you can you comment on on how how recent this thing was? This whole racism thing. Do, how, do, how recent it was and and. Yeah, well, I mean, that's you know that that literally he's he's you know <laughs> an American hero at that point, and yeah, he was not allowed in the front door. We 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 were Larry Stein, in reality, Larry Stein and Jesse Owens, even though it was a, a dinner to uh, honor him, he had to go in uh, to the side entrance. For me, if I were to look at that with the optimism that I have for, for the world that even we, we live in now, you know, we're, we're, we're still faced with uh, so many negative actions and repercussions of those actions, I, I like to think there's a victory there and at least the doorman knows that it's wrong. Like, that there, I, maybe a year prior to that moment that we portray, maybe, maybe the doorman, maybe not that exact doorman, but a doorman would feel empowered by the opportunity just to tell Jesse Owens, no, you gotta go right outside. But even this guy knows I'm, it's, it's wrong. It's a bad thing that I have to do, but I have to put money, even though I have to make money to put food on the table for my family. And I feel like we've come a long way from then, and we have a tremendous, tremendous place to grow. And I'm, and I'm hoping that with the expediency that things, uh, technology and, and uh, the point of view and the way we can exchange uh, information, the way we can fly from place to place, that expediency will help uh, heal the wounds that are still clearly open. But uh, maybe we'll have to wait another 80 years for that big of a shift in, in you know, the collective consciousness.